What's going on everybody? Jade up here. Today's video is going to be over the program Minion. It's free, it doesn't cost anything, and it's pretty quick to download. Basically what it does is it lets you easily access add-ons or mods, whatever you want to call them, to the Elder Scrolls Online. You literally click, uh, you find whichever add-on you want, you click install, and it's immediately installed to the live server. And then all you got to do is when you're on ESO, you just uh, click reload UI and then the add-on will be available for you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I will have this link down in the description below. But you first need to see if you're using Windows or Mac and if you're using a 64 or 32-bit. Easiest way to find that out is you're going to right click on your screen, go to display settings. You're going to go all the way down to about. You're going to click it. Then you're going to scroll down a little bit to uh, system type where it says 64-bit or yours might say 32-bit. And that's how you tell. So what we're going to do is we're going to get back on here. And then we have a 64-bit. So we're going to click download. As you can see, Minion is downloading. Just waiting for it. And it is Good to go. So we're going to left click that and it's going to say this will install minion. Do you wish to continue? Yes, I wish to continue. Blah, 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 blah. Follow the setups. Uh, already exists. Would you like to install to that folder? Oh, uh, sure. Why not? Next, next. And then we wait for it to download. Which doesn't take long. And then we go to finish. And launch it immediately as it pops up. I'm going to close this and it should pop up. Update now. We'll just go ahead and update this now. And uh, we'll be back once it's done. All right, and we're back. So, all we're going to do is we're going to click uh, continue, continue, and then it's going to do its like little loading screen or whatever. It shouldn't take it too long, uh, but once it's done loading, uh, we'll bring you right back. So we're just going to wait and uh, we'll be back. And we're back. And it finally loaded in. Uh, as you can see, it just goes online. These are previous add ons that I already had installed. I just uh, quickly uninstalled Minion just so I could show you how easy it is and how quick it was. Um, so that took uh, not too long, actually. Um, so, anyways, this has uh, four tabs up on the top. And then you have uh, three tabs here and then a search box here. So basically we're at uh, update all. So this is uh, from the first tab install. And this just basically shows all the add-ons that I previously have. Uh, we can go here to where all versions, whatever. And then search by title, author, um, category, blah, 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 blah. So define add-ons. You go to find me or find more, excuse, excuse me. And then you click in whatever you want. So category, any, um, buffs, debuff, spell, stuff like that. So we have surrender, um, so ultimate buff tracker, stuff like that. It shows you how many people downloaded it and how many people like it. And again, we have the same thing here. So categories on what you want to look for, different versions. Uh, and then by, you can sort by title, author, category, uh, download stuff like that this third tab is backup it's just a quick way to um, back up all your add-ons and stuff like that so that way if anything happens it's easily accessible and you don't have to re-download everything all over again so uh, then our last tab is option and this is the th one thing that you want to do first before you ever start downloading your add-ons so for the else goes online, you want to go to options and then you want to see this, this folder here. It says game add on folder path. Basically what that means is that when you quickly uh, install one of these add ons, it's going to go to the live server. And that's what you want to do. You want to direct it. So it's easily, um, so it's, so as soon as you click install, it's going to go directly to the folder you want. So that way you can just quickly uh, be good to go. So what we're going to do is we're click this folder. And I already know where Elder Scrolls Online for mine is. It's in Documents. I'm going to click Elder Scrolls Online. And then uh, for the live version, this is the one you want. And then you just click Add-ons. And then you click 
select folder. So now every time you download something, it'll go directly to that folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up. Let's go ahead and uh, bring this down. So I have three monitors, so it just took a minute to get over here. So here's what we're going to do. We're already in the uh, documents. We're in Elder Scrolls Online. We're in the live server, and then we're on add-ons. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to category, and what we're going to do is we're going to download uh, Harvest Map first. I don't care to have this on my on my uh, add-on selection, so I'll delete it right after. I'll show you how to delete it anyways. So uh, what it's going to do, it should pop up right above the Hoff notifier, right below the Grim Focus. So if you guys keep your eyes here, I'm going to click and install it. So one, two, three, clicking it now. It's installing. Boom, it's downloaded, and it's already in the live folder. Now you can tell you're in the live folder because it says live and then add-ons. So if you want to delete it and you don't want to use it, so let me back up just right quick. So we downloaded Harvest. It's already in our add-ons, but we're in the game right now and we don't see it. All you need to do is type forward slash reload UI, hit enter. It'll reload your UI and then you'll be able to see the Harvest map or whichever add-on. So, and then if you want to delete any add-on, you just go to installed and what we'll do is we'll type it in. There we go. So harvest, we want to delete this. We're going to right click it. We're going to go to install and I do delete save variables, delete, and now it's gone and it's deleted from my live folder. So then I just go back and I reload UI and then it disappears. That is literally it. That's all you have to do. So before you log on to the game, uh, if you want to do this every day before you log on to the game, it's super simple. All you're going to do is you're going to click the minion app, you're going to upload it, or you're going to uh, start it up. And what it might do is it might have some things to be updated. And all it's going to do is it's going to automatically update. Or it might have like update now uh, uh, or something like that on here. You just click all the ones that need to be updated. And then it'll quickly update. And then all you got to do is you can log on to ESO and be good to go. So another way to find the live folder, if you have no idea where it's at, is you can go to the search bar here, as you can type in live, and it should have something like the live Elder Scrolls Online, and then you just click it, and then you're already there, you just click add-ons and you're good to go. If you're on EU, I do not remember um, how to get there. Uh, if you don't know where it's at, I'm sure you can just come here and type uh, add-ons or something like that. And there it is. Go right here, ESL branch. And you can kind of direct it from there from ESL. So hopefully uh, this video helps. Oh, here's another, here's another quick tip that uh, I totally forgot to do. So if those of you guys that like to get on the PTS and you're like, damn, dude, why is my shit not on the PTS? All you gotta do is click, you can either hit control and then click whichever one you want, or you can click here and then you want like all the way up to my build and you don't want any of them left or any other ones below, you can left click here and then hold shift and then click here and it'll it'll do this. And then if you wanna find, if you, if you want like raid timer and stuff like that, then you can hold control and then click the rest of these, you hit, um, you right click it here, you hit copy, and then you go back here to uh, Elder Scrolls Online, then you go to PTS, you go to add-ons, and you just throw them there. So hopefully uh, this video helps you on how to use the Minion program. Uh, it's a super easy and awesome program. I really encourage everyone to get it. I've had no issues with it at all, and I've had it going on probably two months now, and I'm sure people have had it longer than me. But anyways, hopefully this video helped uh, you guys out there and made it your life just a little bit more easier. You guys have a good one, and we'll see you in the next video.